Hello and welcome to Elf Commerce. Today in this ratio analysis class, I am going to discuss with you the third type of ratio that is activity ratio. As I have told you earlier, today the topic is activity ratio. Activity ratio. Now what is activity ratio? Activity ratio is that ratio which indicates or measures how efficiently a business can be run how efficiently, how well a business can be run uh, to use the assets, to use the asset management in order to recover the revenue. So how efficiently the assets can be used, how efficiently the assets can be sold out to generate the revenue and how quickly assets can be disposed to generate the revenue that is measured in activity ratio. How many types of activity ratio are there? There are various kinds of activity ratio but the most important among them is stock turnover ratio. Stock turnover ratio. Apart from stock turnover ratio, another important uh, ratio is there. Uh, another important activity ratio is there that is debtors turnover ratio. Debtors turnover ratio or creditors creditors turnover ratio. ratio so in this way various types of activity ratio you can see stock turnover ratio data turnover ratio creditors turnover ratio assets turnover ratio among them stock turnover ratio is very important stock turnover ratio can again be called as inventory turnover ratio because Stock means inventory. The other name of stock is inventory turnover ratio. Inventory is the other name of stock. So first we will learn today how to find out the stock turnover ratio. Well, the formula of stock turnover ratio is the formula of stock turnover ratio is cost of goods sold cost of goods sold cost of goods sold divided by divided by average average stock or average inventory this is the formula of stock turnover ratio stock Turnover ratio. So this is the formula of stock turnover ratio. Cost of goods sold by average stock. Now what is cost of goods sold? Previously we have done final account and in the final account we have prepared trading account. In case of trading account we used to uh, add up all the uh, direct expenses. Here also to find out cost of goods sold, we will add up all the direct expenses like opening stock. Cost of goods sold can be uh, called as COGS in short form. Now the formula of cost of goods sold, the formula to obtain the cost of goods sold is opening stock. Previously we have done in trading account, all the direct expenses will be added. Opening stock plus purchases plus wages plus all the direct expenses direct expenses minus closing stock minus closing stock either this formula can be used or some other formula can also be used if if this information is not given to you then the other formula the alternate formula to find out cost of goods sold is Sales minus, sales minus gross profit. 
this is the alternate formula of finding out the cost of goods sold which is the numerator of stock turnover ratio now the second part is average stock the denominator is average stock what is average stock average stock is nothing but the average of opening stock and closing stock so formula will be opening stock plus closing stock divided by 2 opening stock plus closing stock divided by 2 if opening stock is given 10000 and closing stock is given 7000 then we will add this 10000 plus 7000 17000 divided by 2 so 8500 will be the average stock afterward i will show you these through sums so these are the two uh, individual formula of cost of goods sold and average stock. If we divide these two, if we divide these two, that is cost of goods sold and average stock, we are going to get stock turnover ratio. We are going to get stock turnover ratio. For example, suppose if, if opening stock is given, 10,000. Closing stock is given 5,000. Opening stock is given 10,000 and closing stock is given uh, 5,000. Now, uh, suppose purchase. Purchase is given. Twenty thousand. Uh, wages is given to you. Two thousand. And direct expense is given. Suppose it is given to you as uh, 5000. What you will do is, what you will do is, you will add up this. You will add up to find out cost of goods sold. Cost of goods sold, you will add the opening stock that is 10,000 you will add with purchase, wages 2000. And direct expense 5000. So ultimately you are getting 10 plus 2, 10 plus 20 plus 2, 10 plus 20, 30 plus 2, 32 and 37,000. And you will deduct closing stock. Closing stock if you deduct then it is becoming 5000. 32,000 minus uh, 37,000. 30, uh, 32,000, 37,000 minus 5,000, 37,000 minus 5,000, you are getting 32,000. And average stock, average stock you will get opening stock 10,000 plus closing stock 5,000 divided by 2. That is 15,000 divided by 2, that is 7,500. So ultimately you are getting 32,000 and 7500 these two you have to divide to find out the cost of the stock turnover ratio these two you have to divide that is 32000 32000 divided by 7500 these two you have to divide 75 uh, 320 by 75 you have to divide it with calculator and find out what is the ratio coming, what is the answer coming. Uh, this is just an example. 320 is to 75. That can again be cancelled with the help of, I think, uh, 5. 5 15 is up. And then uh, 5 6 are 30. 
and 20, uh, 5 4s are 20. 64 by 15 is coming. 64 by 15 is coming. 15 4s are 60 and 4 by 15. That is uh, 4 whole number 4 by 15 times. This is the answer. This is the answer of stock turnover ratio that is coming. You can convert this 4 whole number 4 by 50 into decimal also as per your requirement or you can keep it fraction but it is desirable that you change this into decimal with the help of calculator which I don't have right now. You can change this. This is the formula. Basically I just want to say that this is the formula that is used to find out the cost of goods sold and the average average turnover, average stock and this formula you will utilize to find out the stock turnover ratio. So today's class is for stock turnover ratio. In my next class I will come up with debtors turnover ratio and creditors turnover ratio of this activity ratio part. So well you wait till my next class. Till then goodbye.